Good evening, everyone. I'm Matt Southern from Evolution Studios, and we're making the game we've always wanted to make. It's called Drive Club, and it's all about team-based racing. I've waited so long to be able to tell you about it. It's existed as a concept at the studio for 10 years. We trademarked the name Drive Club nine years ago. You can check it online. At its heart, it's always been a very simple concept about driving the very best cars in the world in the greatest locations in the world, but crucially, doing it together. And we've literally waited for the technology to be available to deliver our vision. We've visited the greatest car companies there are to share this vision for next-gen team racing. And they love that Drive Club isn't just about cars and locations, not even just about winning races, but about people, about collaborative gameplay with friends in teams. Next generation no longer just means more powerful hardware. We're the next generation of gamer. We want to play great looking games like this, but in new ways that fit our permanently connected social lives. And to us, that means driving in a team. Drive Club is a game to play in real clubs, asynchronously and in real time, against other clubs all around the world. The gameplay isn't specifically about races, it's about challenges and rewards you for playing in groups even if you aren't top of the leaderboard, much like the best squad-based first-person shooters do. I can also fire up the Drive Club app on my phone or tablet, pick a race type, pick the cars, pick any time of day, in any weather, at any time of the year, set a time, and then send that challenge all around the world. Then I can watch the drama unfold as hundreds of players and clubs try to become the best at my challenge. We're talking 24-7, untethered access to your club, no matter where you are, home or away. Plus, whether it's a short team drag race or a weekend-long thousand-player tournament with hundreds of teams, every section of every track is packed with challenges. First-person games are also great at transporting you and your friends fully into their worlds. And we're using first-person perspective to make sure you and your mates feel exactly how you should when you own a car like this. We're recreating them with obsessive love. These are two of the fastest production cars in the world, the Hennessy Venom GT and the Koenigsegg Agera R. And they're as close as you'll get to the real thing in terms of detail and accuracy, with totally correct material parameters painstakingly measured from the real thing using our custom-built photometric apparatus. We've gone borderline insane with real-world details and subtleties. We've modeled the direction of each microscopic metallic flake of paint in multiple layers. We've emulated the effect of each individual thread in the weave of the carbon fiber so the pattern alters realistically with the lighting angle. The lights themselves are fully modeled using multiple layers of reflectors and lenses that refract the real bulbs underneath. And we've modeled those rainbow patterns you get when you wax the plastic headlamp covers. Even the suede and carpet have a fiber direction map, causing them to reflect light differently when they've been brushed or touched. In fact, Let's climb into a car now. This isn't cockpit view. This is true first-person racing. The exquisite feeling of opening the door, breathing in the experience, strapping yourself in, and firing up a 1,200 brake horsepower engine. Ladies and gentlemen, it's such a thrill for a studio to be asked to help define new PlayStation technology so that we can finally bring our vision for team-based racing to life. That's just a brief glimpse of Drive Club. We can't wait to show you more. Thank you.